Mavericks win the series 4-2. They will advance that next series, the Phoenix Suns. We're going to talk plenty about that. However, just what are our uh, immediate takeaways? Devin, you obviously play for the Mavericks. You picked them to win this game. What are your takeaways from the Mavericks as they advance? You know, they, they get a taste of what it's like to, to win a closeout game. Last two games that they had, closeout games, I was part of one. You know, 2020, I think 2020 and 2021, they lost. So you get that hump off your back. Luka finally into the second round. Um, I think they, they're elated. You know, it's a, it's a series where, you know, they've really come together, won two games without Luka, which was huge. Jalen Brunson has arrived. You know, Spencer Dinwiddie, you know, hopefully he can take what he bottled up, what he did in game six, and take that into the next series. But they're, they're a team that, you know, can defend, and when they shoot the ball well, they're tough to beat. Going against a, a Phoenix team that they, you know, were 0-4 against this year. So it's, it's going to be a great matchup. But, you know, we talk about Chris, Chris Paul, Luka Doncic in the second round. That's, that's going to be an exciting series. Yeah, you know, I, I think they're very similar to the Boston Celtics. One of the better teams in the league for the last couple of months, right? I mean, they turned it around defensively, became one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. You have Luka Doncic, uh, an absolute star that can win any game by himself. The emergence of Brunson, like you said. And I, I think it'll be a terrific series. I, I think Phoenix healthy is the favorite. And as you said, 4-0 against uh, the Mavericks this year. That obviously uh, could present a problem. But uh, a hot team in Dallas that now has great belief, finish one on the road, you're feeling good about yourself.